Hello everyone, this is Blake WurtzDB71. I think it's right there now. New format. YouTube's always changing things up. So I'm here to do a video, um, a clear bags video. Um, so the uh, the entirety of the video is going to be about clear bags and sleeves and things of that nature. So if you're hunting for music, you skip this one. I'm just going to talk about sleeves. Uh, so I've got good news. I've got and news and I've got not so good news. Um, the reason is that I've got really three different things to show you. Um, if, if you've been buying Blake sleeves or you're interested in Blake sleeves, uh, the, 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 the sleeves that have been termed Blake sleeves by the vinyl community from a year ago, um, you might want to pay attention to this video because uh, I, I I think the Blake sleeve, as we remember it, uh, may be a thing of the past. So we'll get into that. So um, if you remember um, Blake sleeves, we gather sleeves, and there was a call for some largest. Actually, let me back up. Uh, there are a lot of new subscribers that I've gotten, and, and uh, many of them are interested in the sleeves. They they have been, and that's how they came to me. And many of them. Um, don't know where the original idea came from. Uh, over a little over a year ago, um, I wanted to resleeve all of my records uh, in some nice sleeves, and I had gotten some from Japan, some really nice Japanese sleeves. Um, they were made out of a very high quality um, crystal-like um, plastics. Um, really really nice and I wanted to duplicate them because the costs in getting them from Japan was pretty high and also their sizing was a large-ish one-size-fits-all kind of thing and um, for the most part a lot of my classical music was from European labels and the size, the overage on the tops or the, the, the edge or and sometimes in, in even both cases uh, was uh, could be up to an inch in size and and that just it, it allowed my record to slide around in the sleeve when I was pulling it in and out of the shelf um, I just didn't like that so I went searching around and I made contact with uh, a girl named Danae in uh, at uh, clear bags in California and we started talking and and she says sure we could make some sleeves for you um, you know let's let's give it a try and so let's give it a try and we did and it was fantastic uh, if you remember I mean a lot of the final community old timers will know that man the the original set of sleeves were just fantastic and luckily I, I've, I've saved myself um, quite a few of them for my own stash but uh, anyway the, the idea was to get a really, really, really nice sleeve. Uh, I'll, here's one of the, here's one. Re I mean, really nice sleeve um, made out of biaxially oriented polypropylene. Uh, BOPP, B -O -P -P, uh, is, is the name of the trade. And as you can see, um, they are, are very, very clear. And I'm just going to stick uh, a record that I have in hand and you can see that it's really really nice the way uh, the way they show up they're tight and we intentionally made the, the the sleeve to be a tight fitting sleeve that's what I like that's what I wanted and uh, I also wanted it designed in such a way that the flap went over the spine so when I'm looking at it in the shelf there's virtually no cloudiness at all and I could clearly read the the spine from the shell nice tight snug fit kudos in every way loved it um, and the vinyl community loved it uh, and this was this was quite a hot thing for a while but then of course um, they didn't fit all of the records but uh, by design I mean 90 percent well, I would say 85 percent of my records would fit in these fine and uh, I knew down the road I'd need to make a larger one 
and just just by nature of the way things were going we we called that size the larger size the double and um, one thing led to another the double got postponed 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 and finally uh, I got samples sent to me on Friday uh, of the double and the idea was to make you know, exactly the same sleeve but increase the dimensions uh, slightly um, both width and height and uh, the goal would be to be able to sleeve all of your larger double LPs even triple LPs um, and uh, the more modern like deluxe printed uh, reissues that are coming out that are that are really nice um, but they required a larger sleeve so we finally I finally got some of these sleeves in and also with the the flap we made a flap list version because people there, there are some people rightly so they just don't like the flap and they, they wanted a, uh, a sleeve that you just slide in and out and, and that's fine and we had those made as well in my package that I got yesterday I got samples of both the flapless double and the flap double and uh, we'll start off with actually we'll start off with the the flap version uh, I'll save the good news to last uh, because I'll lead into something else that that has been happening um, so I, I did I did get the flapless ver um, this flat version in of course and um, the size is right uh, I'll, I'll show you I mean we just had mr. Charles Lloyd's forest flower in a in a in a single and I, here's here's the double um, very loose fitting here um, fits quite nicely uh, not a considerable considerable amount of, of slack space but there I mean this is an Atlantic double you know mid 60s Atlantic gatefold um, very very hard thick record so that's why I've, I've got this out on hand because it's it's considered a generally large one and so the sleeve fits um, fine here um, the flap works and I'm, I'm, I'm showing you this because there's a consistency issue um, and also there, there's another one um, that was close at hand those shocking shaking days it's like a trifold kind of thing um, three records uh, no two records in a book right one, two, no, three records. Yeah, three records in a book. And I'll show you. Uh, little snug, but indeed does fit. Um, I've got it in backwards, but you can see the the flap comes around and um, it, it will it, it reaches the adhesive and I'm pointing that out because there have been problems with uh, the, the adhesive being too low or the flap being too short but but in this case this is a triple LP set uh, and it fits fits exactly like I would like for it to fit nice and snug uh, although there is no writing on this spine but if there had been this flap over the spine is fine works great so the bad the good is that the size is right um, it it's it's designed properly in terms of the the size and the cut the bad news is I don't think this is made out of the same plastic as before and I'll tell you why number one um, I don't know if this is gonna come through um, here is a an original, well actually a second edition Blake sleeve, and you can see I'll just do it with me. You see how clear it is, but this one's a little cloudy. You see that difference there? Original, nice, clear, crisp. The new one, 
they're something different. Um, but it not, it's not just the, the cloudiness. The, the first, well, the first thing that threw me off was the feel of it. Now, if you remember way back, uh, I didn't like the, the oily, plasticized, bags unlimited version of their vinyl sleeve. I mean, it was just a yucky, nasty thing. Now, I noticed that when I pulled these out of the bag, they had, they had that feel, that oily feel. Um, and so the first thing that I did when I felt the oil is I wanted to smell it. And sure enough, you can smell it. There's something different about this um, that I don't like. Now, one thing I want to try to show you, uh, you're not going to believe the oiliness. Some of it might, it might not even matter to you. To me, it matters. And uh, somebody's going to, is going to say, well, no, those are made out of the same stuff. Come on. We're not stupid. Well, some of us may be, but we're not all stupid. So I'm going to show you uh, the, the double, the double flap list. No flaps. So here's the the double flat list version that they sent in the same package to me. Looks exactly like the original. The original, the double flat list. And another thing, it it feels right. It still it has that clean, crisp feel to it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I call the squeak test and we'll see if this works. So I'm going to pick up this bag here. I'm going to just all I'm going to do is rub my finger across this. You hear that? Clean. Not oily. Now I'm going to take one of these flat versions. Uh, there's there's something on there and if you know me I'm not gonna want to put that something around my records uh, that's just me um, this is not what this is not what the Blake sleeve is in fact it's if, if you notice there's even a different uh, yeah a, a, another type of uh, adhesive strip here. Um, we've, uh, in a matter of a year, we've we've already seen three different ones. I know uh, that I've had in my hands. But anyway, that being said, um, they're made out of something different. And in my one bag, uh, and this will lead into something that that I want to talk about next. Um, is the the flat there's a there's a problem with well it's a problem with consistency here and I'll see if I'll show you this now the flap in this one is is to to the measurement from from the point of where the bag ends the opening begins to the end of here I think our goal was a uh, an inch and a half um, let's see if that measures here uh, yeah, inch and a half. So that's good. That's that's where it should be. But the 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 concern here is that I'll have to show these one at a time. Um, the distance between this lip and the top of the adhesive strip has been changing. Uh, well, not has been changing, but is inconsistent. Here, if you can see. Um, look on this side, not not the points, but what is that? Um, it's a little over a quarter inch there. So, a little over a quarter inch. Halfway through the bag, uh, my bag of sl my sleeves a hundred. Uh, I got another one that uh, I'll measure here for myself, and then I'll show you. This was more like. Um, one, two, three, three eighths of an inch. So a little more than a little more than a quarter. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, 
And then the very end of the bag of sleeves that I have, you can see this gap is much larger. Um, in fact, if I put my, I'll show you, if I put the that tri LP set in, see this is this is a three quarters of an inch from here to the to the edge there. If I put my shocking shaking days in here, the uh, flap does not reach the uh, adhesive, so you wouldn't be able to close it, inserting it this way. See, the end of the, the flap is there, and it would just, I mean, if, if I pull hard, pull really tight, as tight as I can, it would just barely catch the top of the adhesive, and there would be some of it exposed to the next record on the shell. So that would be a real pain in the butt. But anyway, that being said, if you're still keen on these things, you can order them. They're online uh, at Clear Bags, but I can tell you that I'm not going to be ordering these because I think, well, hell, I'm just going to say it. Um, I'll work with Danae again, and I'll do a custom order um, with 5,000 pieces being the minimum, of course. I'll do a custom order with the materials that I want with an American-made manufacturer, the Utah, the people in Utah that made the original ones, they did a fantastic job. I'll just just do that and it'll satisfy my needs. Uh, any extras I can make available to others in the community. Now, the concern, okay, that was the, that was the eh vert part. This is the this is not very good news part. We have a, a, a friend in the community, uh, Mr. Ray here. Ray sent me some, well, Ray, Ray ordered some Blake sleeves from Clear Bags and he was very unhappy with them, uh, claiming like a lot of the people that, that were initially buying them at Bags Unlimited, Bags X, no, Bags XL, not Paxson, Bags XL overseas in Europe, the the flap was was too short. Um, this from the top of the the lip to the edge here, too short. Uh, not not an inch and a half like we had uh, sp specified, but here it's just it's an inch and a quarter, and that difference and the distance between the lip and the, the adhesive, again, would cause situations where when you put your record in the sleeve, you fold it over the spine. Oh, let me do this side. The, the the lip again would just barely reach the adhesive useless and um, I had uh, one one of our very own um, Anders sent me some of the ones he got from bags XL and sure enough um, those that were sent from bags XL even though they they denied the problem uh, sure enough, uh, exposed the problem and they were shipping them out. They claimed they had gotten another set in about another shipment of sleeves made um, but I haven't seen any of those yet. At the time uh, we were led to believe that that was only a Bags XL problem that none none of those were being shipped out of clear bags here in the United States. Well I happen to have some that <laughs> Ray has sent me from Jamestown, New York. Thanks, Ray. Nice to meet you, Ray. Um, that pretty much proved that they're shipping them out of uh, clear bags in the United States. So, just letting you know, um, 
these bags that are made out of a different kind of plastic, this has the same smell as the other ones, the doubles, which, um, which is not right. Something's wrong. Um, they, they have that oily feel to them. Um, they, they're not as clear and the, the, the flap is too small. So I know Ray had to try three times, maybe the fourth time or the third time. They finally sent him some that, that worked for him. Uh, but it, it's troublesome that it, they, they know they have these in stock, yet they're still sending them out. Um, I'm no, I'm no capitalist, um, but I'm not a socialist either. So, but I, I, I can't help but wonder why, why are you doing this to yourself? This is, this is not the Blake sleeve, and, and I would like to ask you not to call this the Blake sleeve because it is not the Blake sleeve. Um, so as a warning to those of you that are out there thinking that you're getting the sleeves, uh, be be warned that this 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 flap here needs to be an inch and a half, and um, the the desired distance between the edge of the opening and the adhesive. Uh, the goal, the target was half inch, um, which they did get right on these, but but the flap is too small. So, and the plastic's wrong. Um, so thanks again, Ray. Um, this is this is very useful for others of you out there that are buying Blake, Blake uh, buying these Blake sleeves from Clear Bags. Be be warned. If you want a sample of what one of the original Blake sleeves is, was, is, it was, and still is, uh, message me and. Uh, Send me a stamp or something, and, and I'll mail you one of mine. Uh, I figure I can do that to help save you from buying bad product. Let me start this over. Um, what we got on tap today is some Farouk Z Bay Primal Waters uh, with Northwoods Improvisers, a Sagittarius a Starry release. Um, just in the mood for Ken's today. Uh, which is the team playing right now. So, the meh news, the bad news about the the, the fact that Clearbags is shipping these these short flapped versions out on this bad plastic. Um, but then the good news, which confuses me because I don't I don't know how this is happening. The the double that's flat lists is exactly like we had wanted from the very beginning. Uh, maybe they had made these already and just didn't have them released yet. I, I don't know. But the, as you can tell, they, they passed the squeak test. Uh, they're made out of the, the really nice plastic by actually, or uh, bop plastic. Um, and uh, again, they, they work well. They're, they're a little bit bigger than the, the the singles, you know, the original Blake sleeve, and I'll, I'll show you. Here's Charles Lloyd, Forest Flower. A little loose in here. I wouldn't normally put it in this bag. I would put it in a single one, but just to show you, there's quite a quite a bit of wiggle room. Uh, but what you may be more interested in is whether the shocking shaking days goes in here, and it will with a little patience. Well, actually, first time I tried this, I just couldn't get it in there, but this slid right in there quite well. Although I've got it upside down. Let me do these guys better. Put this in properly. So it slides right in there. Um, a little bit of room left. Just, you know, again, I would say this is, the sizing is perfect. The plastic is perfect, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give thumbs up on the double with no flap. So how about that? Um, so I would order these, and I would recommend ordering these, and I wouldn't mind them still calling these the Blake sleeve because I, I think that they still are. Um, 
So there's the good. The good news. Um, I'll put a link to these in the description below. Um, for the others, I'm not going to put a link to. Because um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to recommend a sleeve that I will not personally buy. Um, but that's it. That's what I had promised to do. Um, give you an update when the doubles arrived. And, and I have. Um, this was, I believe, the last real effort that we were going to try to make available um, in terms of all these sleeves. There had been a suggestion to do a double, kind of a double that would allow you to open the sleeve but still have a flap on, on two ends. Um, working with the Ney, we couldn't find a manufacturer that could do two flaps. Um, they could only do one, so... Plus, I don't think the demand would be there to make it worthwhile. Not even for clear bags. So, a recap. Clear bags has a sleeve with the longer, the, the, the right flap, but the, the consistency of the distance between where the adhesive is, really. Uh, it's not really, you know, there's not a high level of consistency. There's some kind of other oily plastic that they're using, um, which I wouldn't recommend, but I'm showing them to you. It turns out that Clear Bags will still ship these bad ones, uh, so when you order them, make sure that you're getting what you want. Um, if you're okay with the short flap, I mean, that's your prerogative, but um, it's not its not the Blake sleeve, so demand the Blake sleeve if you ask for the Blake sleeve. This is not the Blake sleeve. Thank you, Ray. The good news is the clear bags, BLP double D NF, no flap, BLP D NF. Uh, the no flap double is a winner in my book, so I would recommend these at least for now. You know, who knows what may happen in a month or two. Uh, and uh, I think that'll do it. 27 minutes is way too long. So, again, if you've lasted this long. Um, the Clear Bags experience, experience has been uh, a good ride. Very good at first, but as it's usual, everything tails off into a spin. Um, and I got nothing else here related to Clear Bags I need to talk about, but I got a ton of new records. Uh, just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll come back soon and uh, show you some of what I've been listening to. It's been a lot. Miss you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.